<laughs> yeah, don't talk to me. Uh, are you all right for a drink there? Or? I'm good. Uh, would you like to inspire? Uh, You're not having a drink yourself. Uh, no, I'm uh, trying to not drink. Ah, if you could just get by Christmas, huh? Oh, yeah. If I could just get by Christmas, I could achieve anything. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it's so hard, you know, because the drink stops your old mind from cranking, stops your old brain from going off into the forest. <laughs> yes, I've seen you on your wandering ways, on your travels, halfway up Wicklow Street and down Dame Street, up Grafton Street, Dawson Street, Telford Street, round and round, back up, back down, am I right? I've seen all the troubles and horrible thoughts buried there in your stupid scrunched up face. What are you talking about? Oh, come on, Sharky, you don't remember me. No, I, I do, but where did we... We met in the Bridewell Jail, Sharky. Uh, we shared a cell. You'd had a bit of bother the night before. You were waiting to go before the judge in the morning. We played cards. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I remember, but... No, no, no. Well, you were, were a little worse for wear, huh? So, how have things been? Okay. Not great, though, huh? You have a good memory. Old as a hill, Sharky. You know, I was sure I was going to run into you today, but you're off the drink. I have to say, that threw me completely. <laughs> you know how many pubs I was in? What? Were you looking for me? Well, it's just that matter we discussed back there in the Bridewell that night, Sherry. <laughs> this has to be, what, uh, 20 years ago? 25 years ago. And I'm still surprised you don't know why I'm here. Yeah, well, I don't. Oh, Sharky, we had a deal, no? Look, I, I, I don't know if what's going on here or if Nikki's put you up to this, but I have to tell you, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you about. serious? Do I look like I'm telling a joke? Are you seriously standing there and telling me that after all these years you never thought about it? <coughs> so when you just walked out of jail that day? Oh, Sharky. Brilliant. What? After what you did? What? What did I? Oh, come on. What? I... I, I, I got into a fight with a wino in the back of a Chevine up, up in Francis Street or somewhere, right? I, I don't even rem remember. So what? Not quite. His name was Richard Joyce. He was 61 years old. He was a vagrant. Said he was trying to get back to Cardiff, said he had family there, said his wife was once the Cardiff Rose. You beat him up in the back of the hotel's public house in the early morning hours of the 24th of December, 1986. You killed him. I let you out. I set you free. Now look here. Oh, come on, are you telling me you don't see his face in your nightmares? You don't see his face pressed against the floor in that dingy corridor? Ah. Oh. Sharky, the old brain hasn't aged too well, has it? 25 years on the latch, and you're like some old borderline wilder yourself, eh? What chance haven't you fucked up? The best years of your life with Eileen, what happened there, huh? Tell me, are you still in the wars with the Dublin bus over the time you got drunk and fell down the stairs? What do you want for that, that little tweet in your back, eh? You even screwed up that chauffeur job you had down in the pinch. You fancied your man's wife, didn't you? Who are you again? I think you should leave. I want your soul, Sharky. What? I want your soul. Look, I don't know. If, if this is some stupid fucking sick joke of Nicky's, I'm gonna... Beaten me yet. No, no, I'm having too much fun. 
Anyway, I'll hammer you now on this last head, and then I'll take you through the old hole of the wall. Mind you don't fall. Yeah. To tell you the truth, I never drink this much. Yeah. Well, welcome to our house. <laughs> Your brother, he's a, he's a real believer, isn't he? I hate these stupid insect bodies you all have. This fucker's left-handed. I mean, what is it? What is a human being, huh? Two balloons, that's your lungs. An annoying little squeak at the top where the air comes out, that's your voice. And he became one of you so that he could feel what pain was like and know what death and fear were like. And at the last minute on the cross, he got so scared that he had to ask himself why he had abandoned himself. Oh, what a mess. I mean, what do you got that I ain't got, huh? Hey, Romeo, I'm talking to you. Love's young dream. What do you got? Huh? You all age and wither before me like dead flowers in a bright window. I live in the stars over St. Anne's Park. A thousand Christmas Eves I've seen. I'm so old. Maybe a thousand more I'll see. Maybe millions. I have a very power that keeps us all apart. Aren't I worth saving? Evidently not. No, no, he loves you. He loves all you insects. Figure that out. What will happen to me if I lose? When you lose. If I lose. Coming to hell. What is it? What is hell? <laughs> hell is... Well, you know when you're out and walking around the city, and all the street lights have come on and it's cold. Or you're standing outside some shop where you're inside reading the magazines, pretending like you were going to buy one, but there's no money and nowhere to go. And your feet are like blocks of ice and those stupid little slip-on shoes you bought for chauffeuring. And you're all alone and you're on your own and you just walk, walk, walk. And nobody knows you. And you hope that you don't run into anyone that you do know. Because of the blistering shame that rises up in your face. And you can't even deal with the thought that somebody might possibly love you because of all the pain you cause. Well, that's a fraction of the self loathing you feel in hell. Except it's worse. Because there truly is no one to love you. buried in a space smaller than a coffin, and it's a thousand miles below the bed of a vast, icy, pitch-black sea. It's buried alive in there, and it's so cold you can't even feel your warm tears running down your eyelashes, and your very bones ache with a perpetual agony, and you think, I must be going to die. every few minutes you're wracked with a claustrophobic panic and you squirm so hard against the stone walls and the heavy lid you bang your head off a million times and your heart beats so fast inside your ribs and you think I must be going to die but of course you never will because of what you did didn't do. That's where I am, Charlie. Oh, I know you see me standing here in this man's clothes, but that's really where I am. Out there. On that sea. Oh, you'd have loved heaven, Charlie. It's unbelievable. Time just melts away in heaven. Not for you. No, you are about to realize that time is bigger and blacker and more boundless than anything you could have possibly imagined.
Give it a rest. 